Hey guys, Woody here, and welcome back to another episode of remaking, uh, well, not quite Champ Man 01 and 2 players in FM23, uh, Champ Man 0304 in this case, uh, Alessio Cerchi. I think that's how you say his name in Italian. I, I was listening to how, you know, pronunciation and that, so watch me stuff it up numerous times through this video. Anyway, the reason why I've gone away from this one is I had a comment from someone, because as I say, if you want to see a, um, you know, a uh, Champ Man 0102 Wonder Kid, who didn't quite make it in real life, uh, redone in FM23 and see how they go again. Uh, by all means, let me know in the comments. Um, and uh, someone commented about um, Alicia Churchy, and I said, oh, he's not 0102, but all right, we'll we'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll give him a go and see what happens, because he was actually one of my favorite players as well on, uh, I think it's 0304. But uh, before we get into it, if you are watching this and you do, do enjoy this type of content, or, you know, I've got the uh, Oldham to Ohm Let's Play, going on at the moment as well um if you could subscribe would mean a lot like on this video as well push out to more people and yeah comment like who do you want to see me remake i've got a few other ones there got a couple of ones in the pipeline as well but um yeah so let's get in and have a look at uh alicio churchy at uh, roma i believe he starts and here he is uh the man himself at roma as a 16 year old now <laughs> I forgot to say before as well, I didn't actually, um, <clears throat> I don't have a copy of CMO 304, so I couldn't get his stats. I couldn't find any images on the internet either. It was really bugging me. I looked for ages and um, I was like, mm, can I? I found a website that had the game and was going to download it. And I was like, mm, actually, no, I don't want any viruses on my computer. So I kind of just uh, took some stats from, I think, FM20 something. I think FM20 maybe that he's in and I kind of fudged it around a little bit. So anyway, here he is at the moment. He's 16. He's all, he's unflappable and media friendly and a professional as well. So he is going to go far. So obviously striker, uh, left foot, right foot as well. His stats are really quite good here for the moment. Nothing stand out physically, but he's only 16. These physicals are absolutely amazing. What a tens in here. I think he's going to be, he's already worth 13 to 39 million. So let's go and see how he looks in five years time. And here is Alessio Cerchi. He is a Manchester United player at 21 years of age. He has just moved to Manchester United. hasn't played a game for him yet. Um, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he's really good. He is an amazing 21-year-old. Look at that. 38 caps for Italy already and 29 goals. Outstanding physical. Mentals are excellent in all the right areas. And his, uh, his technicals here, that dribbling, finishing, first touch, passing technique. Look. Amazing. He's an elite attacking midfielder at work. Oh my God. Look at that price range. 150 million. All right. That's ridiculous. To 414 million. I don't think I've ever seen a price range that high. That is incredible. Let's go have a look at his career stats. So he did the five years at Roma. Well, his first year, obviously, he was 16. Uh, games off the bench. And then he just pretty much turned into a full blown starter. Uh, definitely into his third year, scoring goals like nobody's business and great average ratings before a £104 million pound move to Manchester United. Could be 125. Checking out his milestones, he's probably got a few here. Um, debut, um, the La Givina, um I'm not going to pronounce that. Under 17, best forward, he won that twice. And there was no award given that year. That's strange. Anyway. Um, that's weird. Uh, next gen, surely he is the next gen winner, isn't he? He won the next gen two years in a row. Good on him. Um, hey, I haven't scrolled back down here. It's annoying. From the Coppa Italia, under 17 best forward and 19 best forward. Serie A best young player of the season. God, he wrapped that up four years in a row at Roma. Loving that. Um, first international goal and cap best Austria European Championship golden boot. He won the golden boot at the Euros. Italy, six goals. What? That's amazing. They didn't actually win it. We'll go check on Italy in a minute. I should check what their ranking was before. Um, I always forget to do that. Uh, he won the golden boy as well. He was the European best young player, obviously. Um, uh, I've, I've lost where we are now. I've totally lost everything. Next gen again, we saw that. Euro young player. Just lots of awards for young player. Uh, UEFA Nations League winner, FIFA Best Under 21s player, um, runner up, Serie A, Serie A, ah, sorry, Best Young Player. Uh, yep, yep, top goal scorer, third place, best player of the season. Oh my God, he is killing it. He won that twice as well. Wow. Best midfielder of the season as well. God, he is, I mean, 
He looks good, doesn't he? he? Really looks good. Let's check Italy. So ranked third in the world at the moment. Um, we have a look at their. Um, do, 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 do. Where's their rankings? Is it is it an overview? Um, obviously in world rankings. Can we go there? Yep. Yeah. So. Um, 27. Why can we get a better one here? O overview, maybe? Can we go back a few years? Oh, here we are. So this is where we would have started. They went up from seventh to fifth, back down to sixth, up to fourth, fourth, and now they're they're third. So looking pretty good there so far. Uh, let's have a look at their schedule. Five years. So they you were yeah, they won the Nations League. Um beating Spain and then they went to the Euros. Lost in the quarterfinals to Switzerland of all countries. Interesting. Um, obviously, they missed the World Cup, Italy. Um, they got the next one here, and they get third place playoff against Spain. Which, can I click on that? No. It doesn't look like he actually played. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, extra time against Norway, so he must have played there. But uh, he is probably at some point going to take Italy on to, uh, to glory. He is their best player at the moment. So let's go have a look at him at uh, 26 years old. He is obviously still at Manchester United. Still absolutely amazing. He's now got his Manchester United career underway. His stats are through the roof. Look at these 19s here. Just amazing. He tries to beat the offside trap, knocks ball past the opponent, tries tricks, doesn't dive in tackles and cuts in from the left wing. He has 91 caps for Italy at 26 and 69 goals. His value's gone down just a touch. <laughs> that ridiculous 440 million was crazy. Crazy, he's on a fair bit of wedge as well. So after moving to Manchester United, um, he has been amazing. Looks like a little bit of injuries here maybe, but 23 goals there, 30 in all competitions, 27, 14. So he is, where is he being played? He is being played as a striker as we thought. So he looks... He looks really, really good. As you can see, he's played about the same amount of games for Manchester United and Real Madrid. Exactly the same. Oh, no, sorry, not exactly. One more for Man U and a few more goals. Right, milestones. 2027, he obviously goes to Manchester United. Europa International League, best young player. Top division goal scorer, third place. Young player of the year. He's probably uh, just got that for once. Um, but did it. Yep. Seasonal best 11s, Champions League young player, Champions League forward of the season, third place. Wins the Conference League with Manchester United. Premier League top division score. He got that once, beating Erlen Haaland. And then he's missed out to this uh, Zelenkia kid who looks pretty, pretty good. Um, Golden Shoe, third place. So not winning too much, too much with... Manchester United, actually, which is weird. They literally just the Europa League is the only thing he's won. A couple of other individual awards. Slow down on the individual awards, I assume. But obviously, there's a lot of young sort of under-21s awards that they get. But it's it, Italy have won the Europa Championships. European, what I call it? Europa. European Championships. And I'm probably, pull this game we can. So did he play? He did. He had a pretty poor game, actually, but... Um, they got a 95th minute winner there. Looking good. So Italy now still ranked third in the world. Um, have we had a World Cup? We must have had a World Cup. I can't remember anymore. Worth stuff's hard. Um, Euro semi-final lost to Spain on penalties. Uh, World Cup qualifiers. They got in the World Cup and they got the quarterfinal and they lost to England. So no good there, but they have come through and have won the Euros, beating Germany 2-1. And they've obviously got Nations League going along there. So um, Churchy looking uh, pretty good as a player at the moment. 26 in his prime. Another five years. He is going to be absolutely amazing. Hopefully we'll win some more trophies with Manchester United, but let's go and have a look at him as he ticks past 30. And here he is. Alessio Cerci still at Manchester United, 31 years of age, still an absolute specimen of a player, more professional, unflappable, media friendly, legendary attacking midfielder. He's not for sale, still on that lot of money, still the same sort of tricks here, still scoring goals for Manchester United like fun. Um, I mean, these are just, these are crazy stats, crazy, crazy stats. I'm assuming he is still, yes, he's still being played up front. Um, Although that is internationals, doesn't have the club, maybe because it's, oh, God, ticked over. 
Uh, let's go and have a look at his career stats for the last five years. So he had one, two, three, four, five. Here it is. So one, two, three, four, five. He had five years here at Manchester United. Oh, 12 goals. That's a poor return. He must have had an injury there, but 15 is pretty good. 21 in the Premier League is amazing. 18 there, 32 in all comps and 14. So he's scoring goals, not, not at a ridiculously rate. This is a pretty good return, 21 here in the league. You can't. You know, sniff at that. Milestones-wise, he is, um, where are we? Coming back to 32. So uh, that was the, I oh, the Euro, got the European Championship Golden Boots. Uh, English Footballer of the Year. Good on him there. Sam Richards is one of three. I just love to have a look at these regions occasionally. I know that's kind of deviating from there, but it does look pretty good. Um, oh, I saw something good there. I saw something good there. Um, I'm, I'm lost now. Uh, Tell me before running up European South American Super Cup winners. FIFA Ballon d'Or runner up. F goals 50 runner up. Now, I'm not going to click on them because I think I saw up here he does actually win a Ballon d'Or uh, for the season. So not winning many trophies with Manchester United. Super Cup and Europa League uh, winner. Top scorer. That must have been for his 23. I'm on the 21. Yep. Um, best player in Europe. There it is. A Ballon d'Or. FIFA Ballon d'Or. So he wins the Ballon d'Or in 2034-35. Uh, 31 goals, 11 assists. Looking really good. He does get a runner-up somewhere. Uh, there he is. Runner-up behind this um, uh, Zelenkia kid who uh, looks pretty good as well. Um, so good on him. He got a goal 50 award as well. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but obviously another good player. FIFA Best men's player runner-up. FIFA Pro Player of the Year as well. Um, Pipping Haaland and, um, and that Zelenkia region as well. Italy, yep, yep. Europe Champions midfielder. Champion European Championship Golden Boot runner-up. Yep. Champions League Player of the Season. Not winning much with Manchester United. A Conference League and a Europa League. That is it. Italy, meanwhile... Seventh. It dropped out a seventh. He is capital. He is capital. He's captain, though, of the Italian national team. So we head back to 2032. They won the Euros. We saw that. And then they beat Brazil in Super Cup, Nations League. They lost in the final to France, the World Cup, and they go out in the third round to Germany. Really disappointing in the World Cup. Really, really disappointing World Cups. And then we've got the Euros again. They go out in the quarterfinal uh, as well. So disappointing there for um, for uh, his return from Italy, but he, his returns for Italy. But he does have 136 caps and 97 goals. Now, we're just going to check the records here. So he is the all-time top scorer for Italy. Who has the most amount of caps? Where is that? Uh, most capped is Donnarumma at 187. He's retired. Can uh, Churchy get past 187? Well, it's not going to be really tough, actually, but he can he get to 100 international goals? Let's go and find out as he's winding down his career at age 36. Maths is hard. And here he is, Alessio Churchy, still at Manchester United. He is actually retiring now. I went a little bit further ahead Um I know I said like 36, but he he kept playing, so I wanted to see where he would go. His stats have, have dropped off quite a bit, as you can see here. Uh, not as many greens anymore, but still a, quite a good player. Veteran attacking midfielder, 195 caps for Italy and 140 goals. He's beaten Donnarumma's record, and that record is going to stand for a long, long time. 553 appearances for Manchester United, 274 goals. So absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm going to check. He uh, has he got. Um, most league goals by a player. Most appearances. Surely he's not the most uh, appearances. No. Ryan Geek, 670. I wasn't sure. because 500 is a lot. And I wasn't sure if he was uh, around there. But he has the most goals for Manchester United. Let's have a look at his career stats here. Uh, we left you, uh, it was this one here. So we've got 20 goals in that season, 14, 21, 15, 13, 15, and then 11 in his final season. His average rating has never dropped below. Let's see if I can do this. It's 
Seven point there. Yeah, so like apart from his first season, it's never dropped below 7.24, which is excellent. But he does score a hat ton of goals. They're really, really top player. Milestones wise, we go all the way back to about 2037. Um, best player in Europe. Yep, third place. Uh, men's best player runner up. World and Cup Golden Boot and World Cup best player. But it doesn't look like Italy have won the World Cup, which is frustrating. Another Europa League there. Nations winners, Super Cup winners. He's just winning uh, low-level, um, I say low-level, not Champions League trophies with Manchester United at the moment. Europa League player of the season. Oh, he's runner-up with another Ballon d'Or and a Gold 50 winner, though, as well. They've won the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup, so winning some different trophies with Manchester United this time. Europa League, um, Golden Boot, best forward. Yep, another Ballon d'Or runner-up there, FIFA best player. So he's getting getting some runner-up now awards. Um, top goal scorer. Yep but not winning anything here with Manchester United. They win another Carabao Cup in his final season. So no uh, English Players Player of the Year award. No um, no Premier League title for it. Never, ever won a title because he didn't win one at Roma. Never, ever winning a title. Um, crazy. Ballon d'Or runner-up. So he won one Ballon d'Or here. And then he... A couple of runners-up. I think he got two runners-up overall. This guy here is an absolute machine. 35 years old, he looks pretty damn good as well. So uh, there it is. Not a bad career, um, competitions-wise. No titles, though. No titles. And um, only won a, um, a, a Coppa Italia with Roma there and, uh, and didn't win. I don't think he didn't, he didn't win the World Cup of Italy there. Back up to third. Uh, he's not in the team. Let's have a look at the... Uh, he's, he's obviously got the records for the... Um, yeah, all-time best top scorer and our oh, most capped players, Destiny. Ah, oh, well, that's just 198. What did Searcher get? 195. Oh, he's just been pipped. Destiny um, Udogi. Okay. Fine then. Anyway, um, schedule uh, 2037. He, yep. Quarterfinals, remember they're being dumped out by France with the qualifiers. World Cup, third place playoff. Spain losing to Portugal in the semis. Um, we've got Euro qualifiers, semi final against Serbia. And we've got more qualifiers. And then we come to the World Cup. And this is the one here. And they go out in the quarterfinals to Germany. And then. They're about to play in the Euros. I doubt he's playing in the Euros at the moment, is he? Where is he? Is he in the team? No, he's not there. He's not there. I think he's retired from international football. He's just too old. But if we go back to uh, the World Cup here, um, Portugal won the World Cup twice. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Right. Um, try and get back to him here. So, Alicia Churchy, 38 years old, retiring from Manchester United. An absolute stellar career, really. Um, pretty much there, Manchester United, after that move from Roma in the end. A lot of goals, a lot of appearances, a lot of caps for Italy, and an absolutely fantastic player, and probably a success, I would say, because he didn't move to Tottenham. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, just remember, down in the comments, if you want to see any of these players, I do have a couple coming up. I've got a poll for the best Swedish midfielder you want to see. Um, and But coming up next next time, I say next week, they're not weekly when I can do them. Coming up next time is uh, it's going to be an interesting one. It's a goalkeeper. Yeah. I'm going to see how a goalkeeper goes. Let me know in the comments who you think it's going to be. Chairman 102 goalkeeper. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.